Welcome back, it's Sid Rajiv from Fundamental Research. Today, let's talk about cannabis. Uh, cannabis stocks have been uh, very disappointing for investors this year. Uh, if you look at the Canadian and US uh, based indices, they are down 20 to 30 percent year to date. Most of the major cannabis stocks are down year to date. And if you look at sector valuations, um, they are down as well. For example, Canadian cannabis stocks used to trade at uh, revenue multiples of 20 times uh, at the beginning of the year. Uh, currently, it's 50% down. It's 10x uh, revenue, the average uh, multiple for senior Canadian comp uh, cannabis companies. Now, the primary reason for the decline in cannabis stocks is the declining prices of flowers, dried flower. Uh, flower prices have been declining over the past 18 months especially due to an inventory buildup and the oversupply created during the past few years. Uh, so we believe that growers, cannabis growers, will be affected. They'll have a downward pressure over the next 12 months. But that said, uh, we feel there is a sector within the cannabis uh, industry that is overly, uh, de deeply overlooked, and that's the retail business. Uh, I have three reasons why we like the retail business. Number one, uh, in Canada, if you look at the population to store count, uh, the country average is about 14,000. Uh, if you look at provinces, uh, BC is at 14, Ontario is uh, 12,000, and Quebec is severely underserved at 110,000. And you compare that to a mature market in the US, Colorado, for example, it's 7,000. So we believe that uh, the Can Canadian average and also provincial average should decline to 7,000 uh, uh, levels uh, in that, that you see in Colorado. So we believe that in Canada alone, there's at least room for another 1,500 new stores up from the current 2,500 stores. So we sp see expansion opportunities for retail uh, stores across Canada. The second reason is the rising demand for cannabis 2.0 products. Uh, 2.0 includes um, everything outside dried flour. So you look at vapes, extracts, topicals, beverage, edibles. Uh, there's a rising demand for cannabis um, uh, 2.0 pro products. The third reason is the rising demand or rising sales of legal cannabis. Uh, while there's a significant uh, decline in illegal sales of cannabis. So combined with uh, expansion opportunities in the retail space, uh, rising demand for 2.0 products and also rising legal sales, we feel that uh, the retail business is looking extremely strong over the next 12 months. Now, uh, we have three companies uh, in the space that we really like and they're also in our top picks under the cannabis section. Uh, the three names are Kiara Holdings, uh, Delta 9 Cannabis, and Chalice Brands. The first two, Kiara and Delta 9, are Canadian retailers. Chalice Brands operates in Oregon. Uh, when you look at the valuation multiples, they're trading between 0.6 and 1.3 times revenue, but the sector average is 2.2. So if you look at uh, the valuation multiples, they are looking very attractive. Uh, that combined with an attractive uh, sector and also a sector that is highly prone for M&A because uh, we think that um, for larger companies to grow in the retail business or the retail sector, uh, the, one of the best ways to grow is through acquisitions. And we believe the retail sector is highly prone for M&A, uh, especially because larger companies, one of the best strategies to grow is through acquisitions. They can achieve synergies and also operational efficiencies by combining or expanding their retail footprint across the US and Canada. So we believe the sector is highly prone for M&A. And as I mentioned earlier, the three companies I mentioned, valuation-wise, they look attractive. So that's it for me uh, this week. Uh, as always, if you like these videos, give us a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.